Imagine that you are building four new towns and as, as head of the uh, planning department, you happen to be a mathematician and you place these towns at the corners of a square and you have to link them by roads. And you're trying to save money, so you, you want people to get from any town to any other town, but you want to have the shortest network possible linking them. That's the problem. What do you do? What is the shortest network? Well, the first thing that comes to mind, I think, if the side of the square is one unit, the first thing that comes to mind, I think, is three as the answer. You certainly don't need four. If you happen to live top left and work top right, it's a bit of a bore. You have a long journey, but you do get to where you want to go. So three does the trick. That's a slightly more symmetric version of three. There's nothing wrong with having intersection points somewhere. But how many intersection points and where should they go? I'm deliberately waffling a little to give many of you, I suspect, time to figure out that you do better by making use of the diagonals. That allows you to get from one town to any other town, and it does very slightly better than three, because by Pythagoras' theorem, the, si the two shorter sides of that triangle are one, so the long side is root two, so the total road network is of length two root two, which is a bit less than three. But that still isn't the best. The best, in fact, is that. It's two intersection points, a total of five roads. The intersection points, meet, uh, the roads meeting at angles of 120 degrees, all rather neat. And that, if you work that out, the length of the network is 2.73. And that turns out to be the best you can do. Proving that is no joke, it's not easy at all, and I'm not going to attempt to do that now. I'm going to do a little experiment with a soap film. I've got this piece of apparatus here, which I'll show you now on the overhead. What I've got here is two perspex plates again. They're separated by four plastic columns at the corners of a square. So there's a gap between the plates of about, about a centimetre. And I'm going to dip this into soapy, li soapy liquid in a moment, and that will try to minimise its surface area. And because the gap between here is a constant, it will therefore try and minimise the length of the network. Let's try and do this live. So I've got it here. I dip it into this liquid, and I'm going to put it on the overhead quickly and see what we get. Well, I'm lucky. Here we go. I hope you can see that all right. It's already evolved towards the solution of the problem. It really happened quite fast. I'm deliberately going to burst one of the films now to give it a chance to solve the three-town problem. I'm going to burst this film here, and it will then try and solve the three-town problem. Again, it's evolving, it's finding the shortest path it can, and again it turns out, in this case, to be one intersection point, again, at 120 degrees. <laughs>